What is up guys? Welcome back to the ASAP Automotive channel today. Today is part three of our project 6.0 in our LSTJ that we've got. And uh, for the, those of you that are first time you know, tuning into us, like I said, this is part three. This is a, a 01 Wrangler that we're taking of a buddy of mine and with the, uh, the four liter uh, I6 four wheel drive with a five speed. And we're dropping a freedom machine here of a 6.0 uh, in it today. So what we've done is the previous videos we you know introduced the project. Second video we did you know unboxing of all, a lot of the parts and stuff that we've got. And today is going to be the teardown. We're going to take this bad boy apart. I'm going to put a um, new bump stick cam, um, some new or a new trunnion upgrades, all kind of little little things that we're going to do along the way that we talked about in the previous episode with the unboxing of the parts. So um, let's get to it. Okay guys, so a quick tech tip here for you. When you're disassembling the motor, most of the stuff we've taken apart so far, so far is not, not really a matter of where you place it and all that fun stuff. But when you're pulling the valve train apart, so all this stuff is, you know, it's got 150,000 miles, it's got, you know, it's kind of, it's already seated in. And what you want to do is you make, you want to make sure everything goes back in the same place. So we're, we're retaining these rocker arms, but we're just going to do the trunnion upgrade. But as, if you'll notice, as we take these off, we're going to set them off in line over there on the bench. We make sure everything goes back in, in order. The, granted, the push rods will be new and the springs will be new and retainers and all, but at least this way, we know that our rockers are going back in the same place as they've been, you know, they've seated in or worn in to the, to the valve stem.
once you got all your valve train, your rock arms and everything set off to the side, another quick little tip here that'll save you some time and a little bit of headache is we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing valve stem seals in this later on and once we get the heads off and when you're, you get, you've gotta remove your retainers and your locks to remove the valve springs to get to the valve stem seals. So quick little tip here, we're gonna, you'll see a little bit later, a special tool we've got for doing these. The, one of the things you want to do is take your little ball peen hammer or hammer and tap on these and make sure whatever you do, do not hit the head of the valve stem, but you want to tap these loose and that kind of jars and, and, and breaks it loose because they seat over time and you'll hear as you're tapping, you'll hear the tone change and once it does that, just move on to the next one, but it's a lot easier to do it while the head's still on the motor. Just a quick little tip for you guys. Okay, so like I said, whatever you do. Do not hit the tip of the valve stem. You never want to hit that and mar that. So as you can hear, if you guys listen closely, you can hear the tone change once it breaks loose. Okay guys, and I'm gonna say it, just to say I said it and to make sure we cover ourselves. You know, we don't take any responsibility for anything you do. Uh, you're, it's your own responsibility, any project you take on. This is a fun hobby, it's great. You're gonna learn, you're gonna make mistakes, it's gonna happen. This isn't a 100% step-by-step tutorial on how to do this. So this this is just more kind of a guide, kind of a docu you know, documenting what we've done along the way. If you got any questions, we'd like to help. But you are responsible for anything you do. We're not claiming for any responsibility for any damages you've incurred in doing this. So, with all that being said, you know, this is really going to be a fun project. I think you'll have a lot of fun if you do want to. If you're a fan of that situation, it can be a lot of fun. Just take your time and, and, and work through it.